Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the Lico question length of last word. Alright, so in this question we're given a string S which consists of upper and lower case alphabets and empty space characters uh, such as this. Return the length of the last word. So the last word means the last appearing word if we loop from left to right in the string. If the last word does not exist, we return zero. All right, note a word is defined as a maximal substring consisting of non-space characters only. All right, so the question is pretty simple. Let's say we're given hello world. The last world, uh, word is world. So, and it has a length of five, so we end up returning five. So what are some few obstacles we might face with this question? So real quickly, uh, let's say we have a string over here, which is an empty string with just a ton of spaces. And if you want to find the length of the string, it's actually not going to end up being zero. We get a length of seven because S is just an empty string. So that's one thing we want to consider. And another condition, let's say we have S and uh, it says hello, and then my name is, and there's a ton of spaces at the ending. So what's it actually going to consider? So in this case, the spaces is part of a uh, string, right? So what we want to do is we want to get only the words. And in order to do that, Python makes it really simple for us. And all we can do is we can do s.split. And what this ends up doing, it gives us a list of all of the words split by the empty spaces. And what this does, it it does not count any of these empty spaces. For example, this extra space here, the space over here, all of them are not counted. And all we're going to do right now is we're going to split up our words. So let's just do that real quick. Right. So over here, we're going to split our words. So we're going to do s is equal to s dot split. So right now we have a list. So what if we have an empty string? So let's say s is just a ton of empty spaces. Sorry. So it's just a ton of empty spaces and we do s dot split. And in this case, we just end up with an empty array. So in order to consider that case, we're going to check if S exists. So if not S, so in that case, it's just an empty list. And in that case, we're just going to end up returning zero. But if that is not the case, we're going to return the length of the last element. So in that case, it'll just be return length and the last element is going to be negative one index. So S of negative one gets us the last element and we're just going to return that and that should be it. So and as you can see, our submission did get accepted. And finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe if the video helped you. Thank you.